tenant screening video I ever do is probably going to have something about this, and that is not renting to people who have previously been evicted. You would think that this goes without saying. However, that is not the case. Most of us, most landlords, we can tell. If we're screening a tenant, we walk up to Mr. Tenant and they say, hey, man, I didn't pay rent to my last landlord because I didn't fucking feel like it. And I may or may not pay rent to you. Most of us, we understand. Oh, dude, I should not rent to this guy. He's probably a crappy tenant, right? But that's not the end of the story. Oftentimes, those tenants, they'll try to lure in uh inexperienced landlords into their web right give them the sob story like they'll try to be like oh where 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 something happened out of my control i didn't have anything to do with it i got sick my car broke down my kid this or that right and a lot of landlords they let their guard down and they try to give them a second chance, right? Or you get all those liberals out there like, people can change. People can change. Give them a chance. Guys, yeah, that's great. Sure, some people could change, okay? But you got to ask yourself, what is your real estate business uh, setting out to accomplish, right? Are you trying to house every person out there who needs a home or are you trying to run a profitable real estate business right if you're trying to house people that's not a business that's a fucking charity and i don't have anything against charity but dude you can't think that these are one and the same they're not if you want to go out there and help those who've had uh, evictions in the past man that's great good for you dude i don't ever want to like hate on you for uh trying to do good in the world but you have to understand that's not a business decision. That, per statistics, does not make you a profitable property manager or real estate investor, right? So you need to separate those two things. The data speaks for itself. I've screened, managed, worked with, housed thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And I will tell you, people who have at least one eviction on their record are of a higher likelihood to being evicted again, right? It's just not a sound decision. So whatever that sob story is, you can't fall for it. You can't rent to them. You even get those folks that battled their previous landlord, and they'll tell you he's a slumlord this, he's a slumlord that. Guys, you got to play the odds. You got to play the numbers here, okay? If that person, I'm not even saying what they're saying is a lie, although it usually is, but let's say it's not a lie. If you go to battle, with a tenant who's familiar with the court system, who's familiar with dragging a landlord through the court system and fighting them out, they're going to be a more formidable foe for you in your legal battle, right? If you're playing the odds, you're playing the numbers, that doesn't make sense for your business. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.